Hello. Today I'm going to make loaded mashed potatoes in the Cuisinart pressure cooker. These are uh, butter potatoes, nice white potatoes from Wegmans. And I'm going to peel them and quarter them first. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, have this Cuisinart pressure cooker in browning mode so that I can brown a couple pieces of bacon. We're going to use bacon crumbles and also the bacon fat to cook the potatoes. Okay, I'm going to add about uh, four strips of bacon here for five pounds of potatoes. And we'll have these sizzling in no time. Okay, I'm quickly peeling all the potatoes with the Wolfgang Puck peeler. Then I'm going to rinse the potatoes and quarter them up. In the meantime, check the bacon here. See it sizzling? Getting that underway with the browning method. Now the bacon has completely browned. I'm going to take that out and let it uh, drain on a paper towel while I move to the next step. Now can you see in there there's a small amount of bacon fat. We're going to use that in the process here. Now I also uh, quartered up about nine potatoes. I'm going to add them right in here while it's still in browning mode. The reason why I like to keep the pressure cooker really hot to get a good start. When the browning mode is already on before you add the food, the pressure builds up quicker. So. Okay. Now we're going to add some other ingredients. So now I've changed the pressure cooker mode to high for 10 minutes. I'm going to add a handful of garlic, cloves, and two cups of water. That settles things down. Now um, I'm going to put the lid on, start the pressure cooking, and get the adding and add-on ingredients ready. Okay, make sure it's in pressure mode and press start. Now the pressure cooker has finished the pressure part of this. We're going to let the steam out with the valve. And when that finishes uh, releasing the pressure, we'll open it and drain the potatoes. Okay, pressure's gone. We're going to open the lid. Let's see how they look. Take a stab here. Look how nice and soft. So we're just going to drain the water off and uh, keep the garlic in there. Oh my gosh, I can smell the flavors. And then we'll come back and add some really good ingredients to make these really loaded. Now the potatoes are drained. You can see how soft they are. We're only going to mash them with a nice big spoon. You don't need to get out all kinds of equipment. If you don't mind having a few little lumps, but you can see that they're smashing very nicely. Okay, if you have a nice potato smasher or something else you'd like to use, use that, but you really don't need anything fancy. I'm going to start adding in the ingredients here. First of all, I put all the uh, stuff together on a plate. We're going to use a half a stick of butter. We're going to use a half a cup of cheddar cheese grated, about a quarter cup of parmesan, and the bacon bits that we cooked in the browning mode to start. Nice fresh bacon. And then I'm going to add a half a cup of sour cream. And we're going to continue to smash all this together. Look at that. That's what you call loaded. Loaded pressure cooker mashed potatoes. Yummy. Got these all smashed down now and all the ingredients mixed in. The smell is delicious. I can hardly wait to eat these. 
and put them in a serving dish. There won't be any left at the end of this meal. There we go. Loaded mashed potatoes made in the pressure cooker.